welcome back, my adoring public, to more Etrian Odyssey Nexus, Pharaoh Fiasco here. Last episode, we made it to the final floor of the Petal Bridge. And, uh, yeah. It's about that time. We're gonna definitely find out what the Seafair Stronghold looks like, but whatever enemy is waiting for us down here, we gotta best them first, and I gotta fix my map really quickly. Alright. Beyond the door is a great hall. There doesn't seem to be anything here, though the wind is blowing significantly stronger than it was before. As Eo continues searching the area, Monet points to the sky above. Alright, so that's gonna be our big boss. Half woman, half bird. The beautiful yet terrible creature lets out a shrill shriek as she darts through the air. All right. That thing must be Harpuia. Harpuia? I have no idea how you're supposed to pronounce that. Okay, but let's go ahead and open up with bloody offense into a. I guess we'll trip edge. Hmm. The more enemies there are, the more hit, uh, more hits they can do. Alright, at least Harpuia only has the one. No multiple health bars. Uh, how about an arm snipe? And... Let's drop her physical defense. Alright, so that's looking kind of good so far. Wow, we got the leg seal? Okay. And an attack called Bloodbath. Oh, I forgot. Okay, whoops. Um, Was definitely supposed to be... Hmm. Melee cut attack to one enemy restores user's TP. Sh sure. How about a Spark Blade? Since she's leg sniped, we're gonna double action into rapid fire. And then he'll do what I should have had him do the first go round. Find out what she's weak to. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Mirage Blade, nice little bit of TP there. Is he gonna attempt to use Bloodbath again? Shrill Cry. Okay, so that inflicts panic. Alright. Also probably should have done this at night. So she is weak to Volt. Alright. Actually, hero battle. Then spear assist. Let's do a shock drive. Rapid fire and... Then we got a refresh. Mm. Refresh is so expensive! Claws of Despair. Alright, well at least we have heal all now. Hmm. Well, we're gonna keep using Spark Blade. And let's try... Well, I guess we can reduce his overtime, uh, overheat time by one turn. It's not the greatest, but... Jeez, yeah. I think we'll stick... Okay, we'll stick with that setup. And one... Actually, I'm feeling good about... Let's try going for... A head snipe this time. And decrease his physical defense, yeah. A regular physical attack. I am all about that. Okay, cool. Gonna be able to spark blade again next turn. Nice. Unless she decides to bloodbath again, in which case we will be in a, a little bit of a pickle. Well, she decided to 
try to shrill cry, so I guess we get there. Uh, may use a must use a starter skill the previous turn. Okay, that's fine. But now we can up our TP. And yeah, we're gonna have to have Salem um, bloody offense us next turn. But until then, how's about a hmm. next turn TP cost is lowered and act speed is raised. Uh, sure. Let's act quick. And continue star dropping. Storm Feather. Okay. Blind. Welp. Oh, man. Well, at least we got her with one of them, but... Hmm. Crap. We really needed that. Well, okay, we got her with at least one, so that's good. And refresh targets an entire line now, so that's also something. We just have to kind of hope and pray. Okay, yeah, let's heat sink. Just because we want to, we have to be very cognizant of how little TP she's got left. Um, lowers evasion for three turns. Yeah, let's do that. And refresh. We need Reese. There we go. Good stuff. We need a Reese to move before Eo. Because Salem's the big damage who I forgot to have bloody offense. Wow, really? I thought Bloodbath was going to be a way more devastating attack. Hmm. Oh, well. Bloody offense into a... Oh, I guess that doesn't count as a... St ah, starter. It says it right there. Okay. Then let's trip edge into a... Another spark blade. Into... Let's go for another faint shot. And thankfully for us, we've got heal all now. I'm expecting for heal all to heal like 40, 50 HP on everybody. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty trash. Alright. Uh, we gotta refresh our front line first. Which means we're not gonna be able to have Monet do the very thing we had her trip edge this turn for. So that always sucks. Let's go for another Spark Blade. And I think next turn we'll have Eo use her... Yeah, Claws of Despair again. App. So... Oh, cool! Thankfully, Astra, she was on top of it. How about a Spear Assist? And I don't actually want to use Shock Drive when there is the significant chance that it might fail on us. Let's try going for another Leg Snipe. And then a refresh for Monet. Yeah, I can't move due to paralysis. Oh, great. And then 93 again. All right, well. Putting out lots of damage, so... Chaos Scream, here it comes. Resistance to binds and ailments has decreased. Okay, so whatever she's been trying to inflict on us up until this point, we're about to get a real good taste of it. Uh, just a regular physical attack. And Spark Blade. Probably be better off going for a Head Snipe, all things considered. Yeah, more susceptible to ailments. Oh, Beast. Oh, like. Crap! Alright! Well, that's definitely something. Completely sealed. Hmm. We still want to have her spear assist because Monet, she can... Shock drive this turn. Yep. 
Got a clear mind. And then she... Where's our Thiriaka Alphas? Yep. Rid of those binds. And then same for you, Thiriaka Alpha. It could have been worse. I could have not brought any of those. Oh, okay. Only got rid of one of them. Very interesting. Oh, wow! Except Eo got killed! Hmm. Well. Let's do a... Two more turns on bloody offense. Alright. Hmm. So all enemies. And it heals the entire party, so sure, why not? Do we have enough? What's... Impulse Edge. We need 11. Okay. So Trip Edge into Impulse Edge should be good for us. It'd be better if we could get some sort of Bind on her again. Here we go. Yep. Way more susceptible to that now. Crap. Maybe a Head Bind. And Star Drop has completely worn off now. Hmm. Items. How about we Thiriaka Beta, our healer? Yeah, so that that doesn't happen again. Well, we're about halfway there, so... I'm thinking... Faint Shot's worn off as well. Okay. We're gonna keep doing the same thing. Trip Edge into Impulse Edge. And then she can double action. Head snipe. Yeah. About halfway through the battle, I'm feeling is a uh, good enough time to reset us at this point. Uh, maybe going next time. Probably. There we go. Cool. Nice. Got them both. Okay. Um, they're all going to Theriaka Alpha. Use the last of our Theriaka Alphas. Or no, Eo can just uh. Eo can, um, Eo can handle herself with a fervor, or rather a clear mind. And she... Okay, so she still has access to our attacks, so... Act quick. Nah. Go ahead and do a bit of a rapid fire. And Reese will star drop. There we go. The defense down, always gonna be useful. There we go. Crap. Well, it's actually only Reese that was blinded, so... Could have been worse. We are going to need to heal all, though. Alright, how about... A... Bloody Offense. Do another Trip Edge. She can Spark Blade. We got one last turn of this, so... Rapid fire and we got a soma, don't we? Yeah. All right, so that's great. Way better than what heal all is doing right now, and less expensive. Okay, no bloodbath from you. And your head's been sealed. Haha. -ha! Hero battle. We can start spear assisting again. Another impulse edge. So we've got we've got Monet's core loop. Definitely don't want to put that in jeopardy. And apparently snipe skills, they're pretty accurate. Uh let's have her de ailment herself though. And Reese will I guess. He'll... He doesn't really have much to do. Use a single Hamao on himself. Oh, you know what? We could have, um, bashed Harpuya. Harpuya? How the heck are you supposed to say that? Well, it doesn't matter. It's about to be dead Harpy meat. Nice. Even better. And a Bloodlust proc. 
So even though we're fighting her during the daytime, which is <laughs> more than a little suboptimal, everything's still coming up Luna Soul Guild. How about another rapid fire? Uh, I mean, we've got it. Hold on. Okay, only one more turn of star job, so we can try that next turn, but the binds should be releasing themselves next turn, so we'll see. We'll see. Claws of Despair again. Didn't inflict anything on us, though, so that's always great. Yeah, we're bullying this thing. Yeah, so close. After this Impulse Eggs, we should have enough to Spark Blade, or not Spark Blade, Shock Drive, and then be good to go. Ah, uh, we've only got one more turn of Bloody Offense. Did I bring... I brought the Brave in. Yeah. Just so we don't have to worry about anything. Um, uh, we could be a little ultra safe with a Hamal play here. Yeah. Ah, the blind. So that's the blind on the entire front line. Hmm. Dang. That was very bad. Alright, and then she'll attack too. Everybody will just get to attack. While Reese has to refresh. Next turn should be endgame though. Yeah. We got unlucky and it's just most of them that move before Reese instead of all of them. Okay, still got the Bloodlust proc though. And for this, hopefully should be our final turn. Spear Assist into Shock Drive into Spark Blade into Rapid Fire and a Heal All. Uh, sure. Ooh. That's not great. Oh, well, she'll still be able to do it when we bring her back. Nope. Well, oh well. Welp, Monet just got a little bit extremely unlucky, but oh well. It's been a while since we won, uh, since we were able to beat a boss on our very first time fighting them, but... Harpuia, or Harpuia, one of the two. Harpy Wing. The monster spreads her bloodstained wings, causing her to scatter fetters, uh, feathers in the wind amongst the petals. It would seem even a monster as free as she could not escape your blades. Well done. You've slain the foul creature. The exit should be somewhere nearby. You can proceed through and continue your search for the seafarer's base of operations if you wish. Yeah, I doubt the seafarers are then going to jump us and make us fight them. Like, these games, these games can be kind of crazy, but they have yet to be that mean. So, be able to go ahead and show them that we come in peace. Oh, really? Hmm. Maybe we have to step in front of the thing? Or not. Okay. That's wrong. Upon reaching the deepest part of the labyrinth, an exit appears before you. Ardalyn said the Seafarer's base of operations is through here. You step forward to take a look. Having passed through the forest of cherry blossoms, you find yourself atop a high hill. You look to the western shoreline to see a fleet of ships with large sails. They must have been led here by the Seafarer Princess. Not far from the ships, you find a number of makeshift cottages. It must be the Seafarer's base of operations. You can continue on your way there if you wish. Uh, now that we can just... Hold on. Let's uh really quickly save and heal up because we don't want any shenanigans. Just the Harpy Wing this time. Nikoto Duster. Alright. And I think we will use our spoils... Yeah, to buy three Hamaus. Just to replace the ones that we already used. And no Amritas just yet. That's okay. But I... Yeah. I honestly, like... 
honestly, like this, it's kind of trained us to have the to have the mindset of going in there. It's like, okay, the first battle is gonna be to find out what you're weak against, and then we'll come back with the second one, super ultra prepped. And then on the second super ultra prepped battle, when their fighting style changes up during the last half, we lose again, and then we come back with our newfound um, information, and then keep wailing away until we try it. But no, manage to go ahead and do it. One and done. A massive encampment sprawls out before you. Sailors mill busily around the, about the countless rows of wooden lodges ahead, likely constructed from the forest of trees surrounding the area. You can tell from their spry movements that the seafarers are well trained for their duties. As you reach the edge of their base, a sailor approaches. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Who are you? At the sound of the man's question, the sailors around you stop, turning to look at the potential intruders. Uh, inform them of the deceased. Mm -hmm. These... these belong to the scout team. But how did you... You explain that you are adventurers from Meginia and that you found these items during your exploration of Petal Bridge. After these soldiers, uh, after the soldiers recover, uh, or after the soldier recovers from his shock, he reaches out and snatches the belongings from your hands. Okay, that's rude. I appreciate this, but Meginia is still our enemy. You are not welcome in this camp. The sailor bluntly orders you to vacate the premises at once. As thanks, we'll let you go. This time. Don't expect to be so lucky should you return. The sailors around you waste no time in echoing the hostile sentiment. Left with no other choice, you take your leave of the seafarer's encampment. Wow, okay. Oh, have you not delivered the items yet? Ardaland and Wolfgar Jr. appear from within the forest. When she sees the expression on your face, it doesn't take her long to deduce what transpired at the seafarer's camp. I'd hoped they would change their attitude if you were to, uh, to deliver those items to them, but I'm really sorry they treated you that way. Ardalyn bows, apologizing on their behalf, and then offers you a smile. <laughs> but, as adventurers, wouldn't you say we ought to remain neutral in conflicts like this? Having said her piece, she bids the group farewell and departs for the Seafarer's base herself. You can return to the city to report the location of the Seafarer's base to HQ. Alright, well... They didn't throw us into another fight, so... Oh well. Go ahead and let Persephone know. It was pretty much a success. Everything went everything went as well as could be expected. No major fights. Well done. So, you met with the seafarers. I feared the worst, but I'm glad you're safe. Thanks to your report. We now know the western side of the Isle of Cascades is under the seafarer's control. Thus, we'll proceed with our investigation from the eastern side of the island. From there, we'll head north, find the island's shrine, and continue to look for a path to Yggdrasil. This will be a dangerous task. I'm counting on you. Okay, cool. I neglected to switch out the party members before doing this. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go ahead and register everything we found. Yeah, quite a lot. 75 monsters. In praise of your efforts, I present you with this. Heavenly gifts. Nice. And then this should take us over 75 for these as well. You've registered 100 items. As praise for your efforts, I present you with this. 2000 N. All right. Let's see, who should we switch around to take into the party this time? Definitely want to keep Monet. Let's let's drop Eo for Nash. And Astra for... Hmm. Let's drop Astra for Baron. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. So, we'll, this will be the group that we'll run with for the next part. Whatever it may be. And from here, I'm, a, I'm assuming that as soon as we leave, we're going to go to the next, or we'll find out where the next one is at, but... Mm -hmm. 
I feel bad for not putting Dolce in this one, but... Oh well, she'll be fine. She'll have dibs on the next group. Ancient forest can now be visited. Hmm, what's this all about? A deep forest sprawls over the eastern part of the island named the Isle of Cascades. You make your way towards the forest, taking care to avoid the seafarer base. Sure. As shadows stalk the skies... Is this the first labyrinth from the first game? That's the vibe I get. As you take your first steps into the forest, you come across a picturesque view of sunlight filtering through the lush verdure above you. Though the forest is full of such beautiful scenery, you remember that there is always danger lurking in its shadows. You press onward, stealing yourselves for whatever may awake you ahead. Okay, yeah, we're gonna explore this place, but I'm probably... We're probably gonna also make sure that we've got the... All the requests taken care of. After we get a little bit into here. And see what the weapon, or weapons, the enemies have to offer. Forest snails. Hmm. Uh, don't recognize the tune. He doesn't have anything. Yeah, it doesn't have anything for these. These four snails are probably weak to ice. Let's try a binary ice just to see. Yeah, pretty resilient. That's okay, though. We still got this. Crap. Aelma dissipated. Okay. So they are... They are tough cookies, but... We can still... We haven't bitten off more than we can chew. We're still good to go. Yeah, there we go. Got him nice and dead. Alright. Forest snail and carapace piece. Yeah. I'm gonna say this is the first one. While exploring the forest, you discover that a moist spot on the ground is slightly shifting. When you look closer, you notice a plethora of centipedes squirming in a hole in the ground. You also spot something else below them all. You can reach your hand inside the den full of centipedes if you dare to find out what's at the bottom. Let's reach inside. You decide to reach your hand inside the den of centipedes so you can get your hands on whatever's in there. In an attempt to remain as safe as possible, you try to drag the item out of the hole with a wooden stick, but it's no use. You try to scoop the centipedes out of the den with the stick, but that also fails. They're wriggling and keep running back into the hole. Finally, there's no other choice. You'll have to use your hands. But should you really put your bare hands down into a den of centipedes? I mean, centipedes are pretty harmless, aren't they? It'll feel friggin' weird, and I wouldn't do it in real life, but... Hey, they're adventurers and we're not, right? They clearly have venomous fangs. Ah, never mind. With a bite that'll cause quite a bit of pain, you decide to prepare for the inevitable first aid treatment. First, you start a fire and heat up some water, but not to the point of scalding. Next, you must choose who will reach into the den of centipedes. Obviously, it's gonna be our Highlander. Salem steals their nerves and gingerly reaches their hand into the hole. Slowly reaching their hand to the bottom of, to avoid provoking the centipedes, they eventually grasp and pull out the object from the den. Salem has success, uh, succeeded at retrieving the item. You almost forgot to see what was pulled out of the hole. It's an analysis scope. You stow it away in your backpack, proud of your reward for the risk taken, and return to exploring the forest. Alright. The centipede den. We did all that preparation, all that build-up, and we were completely good to go. A scope. Alright. The centipede den. You spotted something within a centipede den, snatched it up, and found it was an analysis scope. A little bit of XP for everybody. Alright, yeah. So the general power level of our party has dropped. But I'm imagining Dolce, hers is even lower, or it's going to be. After this, she's going to be our only party member who's sub-40. But the levels should come pretty quick to her, so... 
Could be worse. All right. So that's what the shortcuts here look like. And this... Aren't these the exact same doors? Hmm. So this may have been from the second game, then? Ooh, what are you, clawed moles? How about a long thrust for the back? Trip eggs for the front. Let's do a double strike into a... Oh, these things, I'm gonna guess they're weak to Volt. And we don't really have access to Volt, like, Binary Volt just yet. Soon, though, maybe. I'll have to see. Crazy Swipe. Alright, so, whoa! Okay, we're definitely gonna need to up our defenses here. Uh, how about another Long Thrust? And a power break just to make it so that we can survive these. And a heal all. Okay, good. Sweet merciful attacks. Oh, right. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah. We gotta head back because I still have all that stuff in our inventory. Hopefully... We'll probably be able to make it back without, yeah, encountering anything else. Just go back to Makinia. First, we gotta see what these things give us. And... It doesn't look like anything of interest. Alright. So, we're actually gonna go ahead... Uh, we beat Harpuya, Harpuya. And we got a, like we got Ancient Forest, the first one. Like I said, we're probably gonna go ahead and make sure that we clear out the rest of the requests before really delving into Ancient Forest. But that's all gonna be next time though, so definitely join me then for more Etrian Odyssey Nexus. Bye for now, guys.